Next one, temporary hardness after we discuss permanent hardness. Permanent hardness. So this permanent hardness can be removed by following techniques. In that first one, ion exchange method. Ion exchange method or geolite. And second one is Kalgans method. And next one, treating with washing soda. In that first one, ion exchange method or geolite. The ion exchange method is a suitable method for removing of permanent hardness. This ion exchange method is also called as geolite. Geolite means sodium aluminum silicate. The sodium aluminum silicate is called as geolite that can be represented as like this sodium aluminum silicate sodium aluminum silicate is called as geolite that can be represented as NaZ your Z is nothing but your silicate aluminum silicate and next one now see here the permanent hardness the permanent hardness generally containing chlorides are sulfates see here metallic chloride MCL is reacted with NaZ MCL2 is reacted with NaZ converted to MZ2 plus NaCl. Okay. This MZ2 is further amount, it is reacted with sodium chloride converted to NaZ2 plus MCL. So this is a further amount. Means if any salts are present in a water that can be removed or purified by with sodium chloride substituent. So means ion exchange method is a suitable method for removing of permanent hardness of water. Then this permanent hardness the water containing chlorides are sulfates. So these salts are can be removed by using ion exchange method. This ion exchange method is also called as geolite. Geolite means sodium aluminum silicate. The sodium aluminum silicates are called as geolite. This is our first method in permanent hardness. And second one is Kalgan's method or Kalgan method. Sodium exam metaphosphate sodium exam metaphosphate is called as Kalgan Kalgan means sodium exam metaphosphate its chemical formula its formula is Na6 P6 O18 O18 is the chemical formula of Kalgan. Okay. This Kalgan is reacted with sodium metal or Na6P6O18 during electrolysis it converted to Na plus to Na plus remaining is Na4P6 O18 minus 2. This is our electrolysis process or heating. This Na4P6 O18 minus 2 is reacted with metal, means M plus 2, it converted to 
Na2 M P6 O18 minus 2 to Na plus. Okay. So these type of reactions are taking place in Kalgan method. Okay, Kalgan means sodium hexametaphosphate. And next one is treating with washing soda. And next method is treating with washing soda. Okay, metal chlorides or metal sulfates, MCL2 is react with washing soda, Na2CO3 is converted as MCO3, metal carbonyl that is your insoluble substance next to sodium chloride to NaCl or metal sulfate, MSO4. So this MSO4, Na2SO4 or MgSO4, magnesium sulfate. So it is reacted with washing soda that is sodium carbonate. It gives Mg MCO3 again metal carbonyl metal carbonate is insoluble it is a appears as a precipitate remaining is sodium with sulfate Na2SO4 sodium sulfate is formed here Na2CO3 is called as washing soda means the permanent hardness of water can be removed by ion exchange method by using zeolite that is sodium aluminum silicate in Kalgan method sodium hexametaphosphate sodium hexametaphosphate is called as Kalgan in treating with washing soda means the permanent hardness it containing metals like calcium or magnesium metals is containing chlorides or sulfates are treated with washing soda liberate insoluble salts those insoluble salts are precipitate out and next one this is your hardness and soft water means hardness means calcium or magnesium is containing bicarbonates or do not produce leather with soap whereas soft water means calcium magnesium salts is containing chlorides or sulfate which produce which ability to produce leather with soap Okay, that is the difference between the hardness and softness that can be removed by temporary hardness and permanent hardness of water and next one is hydrogen peroxide sorry 